Hi everyone. Today I would like to start my new series for COM interface. Um, the first episode I will use Python. So just please keep in mind that I'm not that uh, really good coder or anything. So if I don't use the right terms and uh, references, just uh, excuse me. I, what I try to do, I just basically, I mean, if you, if you know COM anyway, <laughs> You will know more than I do, probably. Um, but these videos are for beginners who just uh, who are maybe afraid to start with COM. They don't know what is it or how to use it. So I think let's take the opportunity and just go through together from the basics. So I set up a very simple model. Uh, in this video, I will just use a very simple screenshot extraction. So I will create a screenshot. And I will just develop that code from making a screenshot to like a speed camera. When the vehicle speed will be greater than 50, then it will make a screenshot and we'll, we'll put the vehicle number in the file name. I think that's a good starter. I would like to start somewhere else though. There is a document called Introducing Introduction to the COM API. It can be found in the program files folder pre-installed with Visim in the doc folder. So in the documents, please have a look. It is very helpful. Um, it has a lot of um, information on where to start, how to use it. Um, so definitely, definitely give it a go. It shows the structure. It shows how it is built up, like within Visim, for example, you have the network simulation, evaluation, graphics, areas, links. So if you want to access a link, you need to just go you know, visim.net.link and so on. How to use the help. There is a separate com help and all kinds of information on how to use uh, the basic stuff or the the theory basically behind it. So I recommend to give it a go. There is a help. Um, it is very, well, I, to be fair, I think it's quite hard to use, especially in the first uh, times when you, when you are new to come. Um, but uh, I hope I try to shed some light there. And I use Notepad++. <laughs> To create the code. It is a free software to use, I think. It, yeah, it is free. <sighs> All right, so where you can start. So you start at action and even base scripts. So what I show now, uh, the example is a very simple one. And I just set up in a way that it's a single call, so not simulation run. So there is no functions. So it's just a simple script. The script file is uh, com basics py. It is going to be in Python. Uh, we will do Excel as well later. Uh, not in this video, though. From time to time, uh, it tells Visim when to run the script. So it will not run it be before 50 and after 120. Period is how often, basically. So it's just the time step. You can run less times if you put like a lower number. If I put 10, it will run it less times. <laughs> <laughs> so your model will be faster. Run type at time step start. So when it goes through, it will run it at the time step starts. You can do it like end before simulation and after simulation and then so on. So there is a there are like lots of options for you to uh, for all kinds of like initialization scripts or um, if you want to do anything when it's over. So yeah. So the script I have here is a very simple one. It's just basically two rows or two lines. So you just copy paste this one in it. This sets up the com server. And these are the two ones we are using. All the green ones um, have this character and that tells Python that it's a comment. So it's, uh, it won't be run. Um, file name screenshot equal screenshot 3D JPEG in brackets. This means that I put this string, so this text basically, into file name screenshot variable. You can name it the way you want. It can be anything. 
and this brackets tell that is a string. It needs to be a string. And here it's Vizim dot graphics. So within Vizim you have graphics. Within graphics you have Cora network window. Within that you have the screenshot method. And for that one input is necessary. That is file name screenshot. Uh, that is the file name basically. If we go to the com app and we look for screenshot, this is the same screenshot of as that one. Here screenshot method. It shows you in the syntax what kind of inputs. This is the file name as string and the other one as double, the scale factor. But if you check, this is optional, so you don't need to use it. And again here parameters, it's a string and double. If you go to network window members, it shows that within the network window member, there is the screenshot. If you go to network window referenced by, then it shows it is within graphics and it is referenced as current network window. So, current network window, graphics. The I is not used in the script in these cases, so just take it away. And if you go there and you go I graphics referenced by, you see it's Vizim is there. There is another one, this previewer, but when you click on each, uh, you will understand which one to use. You just need to read it. This previewer is something totally different. And uh, to be fair, I think in 90% of the cases you will use Vizim anyway, uh, like Vizim.net or graphics or evaluation or those ones uh, that were shown like here. Uh, somewhere, yeah, like here. <sighs> so if you have this, you can just basically check those members and reference by, and you can just keep jumping up and up, and you will understand which one is which. There is also these containers and uh, collections, like the links and link. One references the object, and one the other one is the actual, it includes or contains all the objects. And you can also find in this hub that very useful description of those. Like here, that there are for some object collections and containers as well. Containers contain the actual objects, while collection contain only reference. And there is an ex uh, example of why it is important to be like that. Okay. Yeah, so now we have this. So it basically takes a screenshot and my file name will be screenshot 3D JPEG. So if I run, let me just delete first the screenshots I have here. I have run it before. I just moved this to 100 and 110. So I will only run it for like 10 simulation uh, seconds. And I put this to 99. So I run it up. 99. Okay. Now it will basically create the screenshot. Of course, it will create more. <laughs> Just keep overwriting it. But uh, in this code, we are not considering this problem. We are not there yet. You can see it just takes the current window. If I put it to 3D, it will just do a 3D. It will use the, the actual one I'm using. So let's develop this a bit further. So I start removing the comments and explain why I have it. So for vehicle in Vizim Net Vehicles. So what I do with this, basically this does, this is all of the vehicles. Four is a loop. Vizim, so this vehicle, this will contain the actual vehicle as it is going through one by one in all of them. If I have 10 vehicles, that will be 10 loops. And vehicle will be first the one, then the second, sorry, the first, then the second, then the third. So every time I come in here, that vehicle will be that vehicle. In the first loop, the first vehicle, in the second loop, the second, and so on. So if I remove this, and in Python, you need to indent the rows if it is within this loop. So if it is like this, 
it won't be in the for loop. If it is like this, it will be. So here, vec number is a variable. I gave it this name, vec number. You can give any name you want, basically. <laughs> then I have vehicle dot at value. So now I am I'm accessing here that vehicle, and that vehicle that attribute value for that vehicle, the attribute value of number. So if you go to the vehicle here, <laughs> vehicle, I go down, vehicle attributes, and basic, basically these attributes are the same what you have in Visit. Just here you have more information. So if you go to number, it tells you index, it tells it's not additable, Simulation behavior, it's a simulation attribute and it's calculated. So you can't edit it basically as the simulation goes. This is an automatically calculated one. So the number attribute value of that vehicle that will be here. So in the first case, in the first loop, it will be one. Then here I put the speed in it at value speed, then the position in back post, back speed. Then I have an if. So if you see, this is the same indentation as that and that and that. So if, and this doesn't need to be, so it just uh, can be like that if you want. But like this, yeah. Then if, and then I have the conditions here, and then I have this character. So here I just list up all the conditions uh, and op uh, using the operator end. So if vehicle position is more than 100, but less and less than 110, so it is between 100 and 110, and the speed is more than 50, then, and if you see it is indented, so it is within the if, then this, then the file name screenshot, so what I had before here, so now I can delete this line because I have a better one. <laughs> File name screenshot will be a concatenated string. So I want to show the vehicle number in it. So what I want is I have, <clears throat> I will have screenshot 3D, <laughs> then straight after that the vehicle number. And vehicle number is a number that needs to be converted to a string because only strings can be concatenated. And also the screenshot, the file name needs to be a string. Uh, we checked it before in the, in the com help. <coughs> you remember, string, <laughs> yeah. So now I put the string together and I move this up and indent it. So what I want is, if this is true, then I want these two lines to be run. And then the loop will go back and start again. It will check the second vehicle. And then it will go here again and make a photo um, if that second vehicle is also qualifying. And then it just makes the screenshot. So let's have a look. I increase my vehicle input a bit because at the moment it's not a lot. Okay. And I run it from like 60. And I run it every period, so like every tenth. So it will only run like once in every second, I think. And put it to 60. Okay. Now let's check. This is vehicle number. One, sorry, 13. <laughs> but for here, the position is already more than 110, so it doesn't qualify. This one, however, position 106, and the speed is more than 50, and the script is going to run, so I think that will be a screenshot for this 14. Then this one is 15, position. So now it also should be making photos. It should be also make, yeah, probably not for the, no, 
no, not for this one, but this one also should have a photo. Yeah. So let me just run it to the end. As you can see, it slows down when the script is running. Okay, now it's over. So if I go to my folder, you can see there are these screenshots. For each, uh, so when that was a vehicle with that, that it made a screenshot. Of course, this is just a very basic script yet. We can further develop it that, you know, to have a, like a close up on that vehicle uh, to move the camera closer and uh, have a smaller, like a location, a more exact location, not just a, like a 10 meter section. And uh, we can also check if there is already a file for that, that it won't make a new one. So it will run faster and things like that. I think that is something you can practice or let me know in the comment if you want me to uh, develop maybe in the next video that further and uh, and achieve that. So in the next video, I will try to do another example of something and just to keep talking about um, something else um, related to COM. Let me know if you are interested in these or not, or um, shall I focus more on certain parts or less. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.